clothesline that innocent girl? <laughs> That's awesome. That's amazing. What's up, guys? Brightbauer here. And I just got back from seeing Hardcore Henry. And let me tell you, this movie was great. I love this movie, it was a lot of fun. Now I'm gonna do two reviews here. This is the first time I'm ever doing this, but I'm gonna do two reviews. The first review that I'm gonna do is gonna be a non-spoiler review. So if you haven't seen the movie, watch that one first. If you have seen the movie and you want a spoiler review, then I'm gonna do a spoiler review after that. Go ahead and click here if you wanna to skip to the spoiler review. All right, let's get into this. Of course, the first thing that I have to mention is the style. The entire movie was in first person. If you don't know what first person is, it's as if you see out of the eyes of the character in the movie. So the entire movie, you just see as if you're Henry, and they did a great job to make you feel like you not just you're watching Henry do things, like through his eyes, they make you feel like you are Henry, kind of like a lot of video games do. And it was just a lot of fun just seeing him go like running, and, like cause literally every motion he did, even when he was just running, you saw his head bob up and down. And it was like, every little thing, it's like actually if someone wore a camera and filmed this entire thing, I don't know how they did it, but probably they did that because that brings me to my next point. It's kind of why it's bad. One of the reasons that it wasn't, it's not bad, but like one of the faults in the movie is that you feel every shake, literally every shake. So like, even when he's just walking like regularly, it goes back and forth and back and forth. And after a lot of jumping and, and just explosions and everything like that, and fight scenes, it gets really dizzying. Like, I was fine, but there were people like turning away from the screen and everything. And like, I could see if someone who doesn't, like who has motion sickness or something like this, would vomit. Like, straight up, this movie was very disorienting. And as it was, although it was a great movie, I mean, this thing was all over the, like, the plot was the plot was very very staying in one spot, but I mean the whole the whole movie was just oh my god like you're gonna vomit it was, it was just crazy it was crazy. All right, the next point I'm gonna bring up is that the plot, like I mentioned, was very very good. I, I enjoyed the plot. I thought it was it wasn't like oh my god like amazing film plot, but I mean it was interesting and kept you engaged and everything like that. And the way they did the plot is so that like you're a part of the action. Like they kept, like I said, they make you feel like you're Henry. So like going through the action, like you actually felt like you were invested in this. Like you wake up when Henry wakes up and everything like that. Like you are Henry and the plot really, I think just helps with the filmmaking style of this, which I really enjoyed how like, I really, as, as well as like it just helping make you feel like you're Henry. It was interesting, which is a tough thing to do, and I'm, I commend the writers on that. It was very good. I enjoyed that a lot. The next thing I'm going to bring up for the good points on this is that the villain, although very mysterious, was very interesting. I, I didn't think there was going to be like a main villain, but there is, and it's this this creepy dude who's also interesting and seems smart, and like there's not a lot you know about him, but what you do see of him, he's very. I I, I really enjoyed the character, and I think that was just a big on the upside and the acting in the movie was very varied like this brings me to like the the villain was a very good actor the assistant like the kind of I guess would be the main character since like Henry's the main character but you don't really see Henry the main person you see on screen the character the actor or whatever um, is like Henry the guy helping Henry he's a very good actor I don't want to spoil too much but he has to play different roles I guess you would so he has to play a lot of different things without spoiling I don't want to say too much um, but yeah, he does a really good job. Sometimes he does not so good job, but for the most part he does a really good job in diversifying and everything like this, the way he has to play different roles and everything like that. Um, and I'll just say that the, the girl, I did not enjoy her acting. It, mm, I did not, no, I just, I didn't think she did a great job. Also, side note here, I would just like to point out that this actress looks so much like Jennifer Lawrence. It's basically just discount Jennifer Lawrence considering how much she looks like her, um, but just doesn't act as well. It, it, it's, it's weird, it's disorienting. Anyway, continue. I thought I thought overall, all the acting, although there wasn't much, was very good for what you did see. Um, and don't go in, like, I mean, I shouldn't go into this movie like, yes, I need all of the acting to be great. Like, this movie was an action movie. It was straight up explosions, fight scenes, and everything like that, through first person, which is another main focus, like fight scenes and first person are their focus. Acting comes next, you know what I mean? So, acting, of course, I, I'll mention it, but don't, don't flaunt too much for, the subpar acting. And then did my final point on the good parts of it before I get into like the batter, the worst parts, batter, batter's not a word, um, the is that it was just a fun movie. Like I walked out of it, like that was fun. Like how Mad Max was just a fun movie. It's just like, that was, I walked out, I'm like, 
that was just a lot of fun. I just enjoyed myself watching that, as well as like not analyzing the plot or anything. It was just fun to watch, unless you have motion sickness, then it was not fun, you'd probably vomit. But you know, it, it was a fun movie, of all things. It was just very, very fun. Can I say fun more? All right, back now over to like the downsides. I, I mentioned a few, I mentioned the acting and the very, very shakiness of it. Um, and then there was something else that was weird. There was like, I felt like they, the filmmakers thought they took themselves too seriously. So they're like, let's add in some comedy. Like the comedy when they, when it was added in just felt very weird. Although the jokes probably would have worked somewhere else. They didn't seem to work here. Like at one point, spoiler warning, it's very minor, but at one point, one of the, the the guy asks him, "Oh, you're married? How's that going?" And then you see Henry, who you are, go like this. Like it was very, it was a very weird, weird comedy. I felt like it was forced. Um, although there were some there were some moments that were very funny that that worked in very well. Um, but yeah, so the comedy was, yeah. But it was, again, not going in. This is gonna be hilarious. Going in, first person fight scenes action. And then another thing is that. The characters were interesting, but they're also very thin. One of the characters that we meet has layers and like, but you don't get too much time because it's first person, and you don't like you don't get too much time with uh, with other characters, and like you don't even get time with your own character because you don't know as you don't know his backstory or anything like that. So a lot of the characters ended up being very thin, which didn't again didn't take too much away from it because going into this is an action movie. But again, I would have liked to see some more. Not even so much like depth to them just like kind of some like you don't know two two of the characters You don't even know where they come from one of the characters They gave him they gave him a lot to work with and he was very he was dynamic I'd say the other two and there's like three characters four including yourself, but um Yeah, I'd say like the out of the three people that not yourself one of them was really good with the the character development But the other two I have no idea. I couldn't tell you anything about them except for what we saw on screen um but yeah, so that that was that was a little bit. Eh. Okay, last the last point I bring up for why it was is a, a flaw, is he was running around being shot at so much. There's no way in hell that he wasn't shot at least once. I mean, there's a few things where they mention that he's injured, but I mean, it's, there's no way he didn't get annihilated by some of these things. But yeah, um, I'm also gonna mention not really a flaw or a good thing. I'm it's just um in general, it felt a lot like a video game. I think I mentioned that before, but like a lot like a video game. Of course, it's first person, a lot of video games are first person as well. But this, like, to the point where, like, if you've ever been in a video game, and like, take Portal 2, for example. If you've played Portal 2, you get it like a guide to take you through the entire thing. Wheatley is your guide in Portal 2, and he takes you through the whole thing. He's like, all right, jump across that platform. And then, like, the character will just sit there waiting for you to jump across the platform since you're the controlling the person. Um, and in this movie, it felt like even at one point someone's like, all right, throw a grenade down there. And it just seems like he hesitated and then he throws the grenade. It just felt a lot like a video game. Um, and if you like those types of, types of video games, like the um, uh, story story FPSs, like if you like the story mode in COD or anything like that, you'll love this even more because it felt a lot like that, like the explosions and everything like that. A l very reminiscent of video games. I think that's what they were going for. If not, they achieved it anyway, but... Uh, yeah, I'd say that. So that's kind of the end of the non-spoiler review. Um, out of, I'll tell you what I gave it. Um, I gave it a six out of ten overall, which is good because I, I feel like a five out of ten is just like, is just like, yeah, it was good and it was bad. But I feel like the good outweighed the bad in this movie. It, it was, it was fun. So I, I enjoyed it. Six out of ten. Um, but yeah, it was a fun. I mean, that that's more of on it being a movie. If I was just on like the fun aspect and my enjoyment of going to the the theater. I I probably rate it like an eight. It was it was just a lot of fun. I definitely recommend you go see this, especially if you're not gonna analyze the film and just like you just want to watch it for your entertainment. So yeah, now hello, welcome. We are now in the spoiler review section. So yes, let's get into the spoilers. This one's random, but like okay, so one of my biggest pros, not biggest, but like I love the scene where he's trapped inside the. There's this scene. Okay, I'm gonna talk to you now as if you've seen the movie, and if you haven't, well. Oh well, uh, spoilers. <laughs> there's a scene, the scene where he's trapped inside the container and there's a car on the inside and he takes the bat and shoves it into the uh, the acceleration and then that drives out and like they all get distracted. I love that scene, I don't know why, I just felt like that was very much the movie, like how, how creative it was with that and everything like that. I feel like that was just very, 
sums up the whole movie somehow. I mean, like first person explosions, random, random ass shit going everywhere. But yeah, and so that was that was one thing I enjoyed. Um, it's not even too much of a spoiler. It's just a scene that I liked. Yeah, so, so as I mentioned before, the I gave an example of the uh, forced comedy when he went like this and everything like that. Um, there was another scene, which <laughs> was weird. I mean, you, you, I mean, you've probably seen it, but. The scene where Jimmy is sitting in the chair, paralyzed, and then he starts control singing first, and then starts controlling his clones to sing along with him. I was like sitting there, and I was like, "What the hell is going on?" So they just start singing and dancing, and, and then everything going up to him, passing out. And I mean, to be honest, it was a funny scene. If like again, if I just went online and I just I was explain this guy controls all of them but only one at a time. Now let's do a dance number. I'd probably think it was hilarious, but just it seemed very just like yep, let's drop it right there. Just no context whatsoever. Two seconds later, uh, the the bad guy I don't even know what the bad guy's name is. Um, the bad guy company people, a cons people shows up, and he's like, oh man, you ratted me out. Let me punch you in the face after I did a dance number. It just seemed very. Uh, they were dancing and singing, it was hilarious, and then, whoop, switch over, now we're gonna fight you. Also, like, he gets locked in the chair by Jimmy, and then he spits into some electricity, which shocks, and then his arm opens, which, I, <laughs> what? Something I did enjoy was the double deus machina. That's a mouthful, double deus machina. So basically, if you don't know what it is, a deus machina is when you think that the character is going to die, he's in a dire situation, and then something miraculous comes and saves him, like somebody, somebody else shoots him or something like that. They did have one instance, two instances in there, but I, I noticed a few where, like when he was falling out of, when he got his the rope cut on the helicopter, he was falling out of the sky, and he looked down, and he's like, oh, he's going to fall in water, he's going to be fine, and then he glides past the water and hits the tree. I thought that was funny because they kind of reversed, you think he's going to get saved and he's not, which I enjoy. Mad Max did that a lot where like he got saved, where someone got saved and then two seconds later they died um, but yeah I, I enjoyed that a lot um, I enjoyed the whole plot of uh, how he's like a robot and I, I just I, no one else in the theater laughed but they held, held up the thing and he's like yeah you're low on battery I thought that was hysterical I don't think it was meant to be hysterical so that might be a flaw but I just thought that was funny and how he had to like rip open the guy's chest and plug himself into that was interesting it was funny um, but yeah so <laughs> another weird scene besides the dancing one was the scene where he goes to the brothel. Now, the weird thing about this, okay, it was an R movie, if you didn't know, so of course there's gonna be boobs, but unnecessary boobs. Like, there, were, there didn't need to be boobs. Well, I mean, boobs are fun, but there didn't need to be so much of it. I mean, okay, so they go into the brothel, and they're walking to the back room. They try, another example of forced comedy, they go past that room, and he's like, I'm a car, motherfucker. Like, that was not necessary, like, what the fuck was that shit? Um, and then they walk into the room where Jimmy is, and he's, like, fucking, like, five chicks. But, excuse me, banging five chicks. Um, okay, yeah, so, of course, this version of Jimmy is now going to be very, like, sexual and everything like that. But they didn't need to be naked the entire time. Like, this guy... Like, okay, so an example of uh, boobs that were used in a good way, this is a weird conversation, uh, an example of boobs that were used in a good way is in Deadpool, is like it was actually served part of the plot, is like he had to walk in, find his girlfriend who worked at the strip club, so there are boobs there. But with this, it just felt like it was a scene in the movie, and there were boobs there. Like, I, I like boobs, and plus movie for boobs, but there wasn't a need for boobs. I've said boobs so many times in the past, like, Two minutes. But anyway, so after that, a con comes in, which there seems to be a lot of run into a con, and then I think that's his name. I, I might just be saying the villain's name wrong. But run into him, and then get away from him, and then run into him again, and there's tracking devices. There was a lot of that. I didn't like that. But um, yeah, so he's in there. And a big plus in this scene, like a good, good example of boobs in a useful way in this movie is in the next scene when he's facing a con and then the con just picks up the the naked chicken and hurls him and hurls her at him i thought that was hilarious um which i, I like that a lot um but so yeah and then after that um I, I wouldn't say i have too many flaws with the movie i'd say that a good part of the movie is that i really really enjoyed the chase scenes the my favorite chase scene was probably the one leaving the brothel 
when they're on the bikes and then these two women like all of our women are dead I thought that was funny in the subtitles like that that was one of the scenes that wasn't forced comedy it was actually funny it was like the subtitles like popping up because they're screaming that was that was funny and then we start getting on the bikes and like chasing and it's just pure action that was a lot of fun the scene and then we get inside the scene where like he's teasing her and like gonna shoot the girl and girl oh voice crack gonna shoot the girl in the head and everything like that and hits him with a bat um I enjoyed that. That was a good scene. That was my favorite chase scene. And then probably the other chase scene that I loved is the uh, is the one where Jimmy gets shot the first time. So the cops are like, oh, and then tries to try to shoot Henry. And then Jimmy gets shot. He has to run and everything like that. I love how the civilians are just like, whoa, what's going on? And he's just like, mm, slap or whatever. Um, but yeah, I like those two chase scenes. Um, probably my biggest problem with the movie was the fact that we didn't find out why he had those powers, why the villain, I think his name's a con, but the villain had those like lifting and smashing and throwing powers. I didn't understand that at all and it wasn't explained, which kind of pissed me off. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it. The, the, another big problem I had actually was the ending felt very rushed. Um, like all of a sudden, biggest spoiler warning here, all of a sudden after he gets his ass kicked by a con, I'm gonna just keep calling him that. After he gets his ass kicked by a con, then all of a sudden, in like this like, Daisy moment, she's just like, "Oh yeah, I never loved Henry. It was all a plan." And like it was very like rushed. And then like maybe not less than 15 minutes later, it ends. Like the the biggest twist was so late in the movie. And speaking of late in the movie, is that big fight scene where he's fighting all the other soldier robots? I, I want someone to explain to me why the other soldier robots that are exactly equivalent to Henry couldn't beat Henry. Meanwhile, Henry's like beating the fucking shit out of every one of them. Like, I mean, like, he destroyed so many of them. They're supposed to be equivalent to him. If there's multiple ones, they had that whole thing that pissed me off is like, is like they went one at a time at him and everything like that. Something I did notice though, is that when he gets circled by all of them, it's on like this type of great thing. And it, and it reminds me a lot of the scene where the crazy 80, 88 in Kill Bill, where they surround uh, the bride. Um, and then they go one at one and one. Um, but yeah, so those were my two biggest problems. The ending felt rushed, super power, superpowers, and the fact that he couldn't beat, he beat all of them and they should have been able to beat him. I guess that was three, not two. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, that was a lot of problems, but that was the spoiler review. Um, but yeah, so I enjoyed that a lot. I liked how, I liked the filmmaking style. I thought they did a great job making you feel like you were actually Henry, the way the plot worked and everything like that. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I would definitely recommend you go see this, whether it's for just to analyze it as a film or just to have a lot of fun. Definitely more recommend it for having fun. But yeah, six out of 10 overall. I enjoyed it a lot and yeah, I definitely loved it. So go ahead, go out and see it if you haven't seen it already. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Good